everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is video number 10 in my PC build series. And in this video I'm going to be showing you up nice and close all of the connections that go from the various components onto the motherboard and into the power supply. Now for those of you who haven't seen my previous videos in this series, here's a quick rundown as to what's inside this case. First of all we've got an Asus motherboard at the bottom here. We've got an Intel Core i7 processor underneath this cooler. We've also got an Asus 5870 ATI Radeon graphics card. We've got a Corsair HX850W modular power supply located down here. And then on the motherboard just here we've got some crucial technology. Ballistics memory, very very high performance memory, 6 gigabytes in total. And then optical drive at the top here is an LG Blu-ray writer. And then here we've got lots of bays for hard drives. I've only populated two of them with two one terabyte Samsung Serial ATA three and a half inch hard drives. Now I'm going to run you through all of the connections. We we'll start off with the optical drive. This is the LG Blu-ray writer. We've got a red cable coming out the back here. This is a data cable, Serial ATA connection. It comes round here. I've tidied it around uh, behind this motherboard mounting plate, and it comes back out here and then connects into the serial ATA connector on the motherboard. There's also a black cable coming out the back here, and this is for power. This one runs all the way down here, the black cable here, if you follow it round, it goes into this connector here on the modular power supply. Now the hard drives are very similar. Coming out the back of these two hard drives, we've got two serial ATA connectors, and they're just connected in down here. So we've got two additional serial ATA connectors for the two hard drives and the two power connectors for these hard drives again come round the back here and then they come into the modular power supply. So for the hard drives and the optical drive you've got both power and serial ATA connections. Now also coming out of the power supply, let's deal with these power connections first. We've got these braided connectors, they're hardwired in down here on the power supply. Now the first two are these yellow type, type colour and they come out the back here, round the back and then these are into my PCI Express graphics card. So these are, if I get the count right, these are six pin connectors into the graphics card. And then we've also got a big fat chunky wire, this red one here, that goes again round the back and we follow it up round. This is a 24 pin connector, goes onto the motherboard, very important connector that one. And then there's one other one, which is again a yellowish cover, colour, and it's an 8-pin connector. And again, it goes all the way back round behind the motherboard for a nice, neat installation. It comes across here, and I've just poked it up through this little hole. And this is an 8-pin connector that goes onto the motherboard as well. So that's all of the basic uh, power connectors in this install. We've also got some I.O. connectors. And on the front of this case, when I showed you my video number two, which was a tour of this case, there's some front connectors for things like um, USB and eSATA, and there's also some power switches on the top, and all of these need to be connected into the motherboard as well. These are located at the front of the case, I'm not going to show you those. But there's lots of tiny little wires that come down here, and these are for the front I.O. connectors. And there's the connections here, this one here for example, is for the USB uh, ports on the front of the case and they run round here and then back up to the top of the case and out to those connectors and there's also all these tiny tiny little connectors now I'll just deal with these ones first let me just move that one out of the way now these ones are for things like the power on off button the reset switch, hard drive activity etc they're all colour coded Everything's labelled on this tiny little block and you just have to push them onto the correct pins. And then this little one that I moved out of the way, this is just a speaker. This beeps and gives you some feedback if there's something wrong with the motherboard, for example. Now, other connectors, there's another one here which comes round from the front of the case. This is for the audio on that front panel, so you can plug in headphones, etc. And then the other connectors are just for the fans and they go direct onto the motherboard. Now this is the CPU cooler, this one here, and there's a little tiny cable that comes out of there and onto the motherboard, 
It's very important these go onto the motherboard as it allows you to gain extra control over fan speed, etc. This motherboard actually supports a silent mode so you can make it uh, slow down all of the fans and they only speed up when necessary. Now the other fans, we've got a large case fan here, 200mm fan on the top and that one connects onto the motherboard here, just to the uh, right of the memory. There's also another smaller fan on the back of the case and this wire, if we follow it around, goes onto the motherboard just here. And then there's one more big fan at the front of the case, another big 200mm fan. The wire comes out of the back of that fan, just here, I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, and the little red, uh, white and black wire comes around here and into a connector just underneath the graphics card. Now I made the mistake of putting the graphics card in first, so I had to remove this and then plug this cable in first and then put the graphics card in. So this particular one on my install, this little tiny one here for that front intake fan went in first. So that's basically all of the connections. I hope that's helped you in, uh, in your builds. Thank you very much for listening. Please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geekanoids channel. This video review is sponsored by Crucial, the memory experts. They provide reliable PC, notebook and Mac memory to boost your system performance and improve your general workflow.